Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Not going to waste any of your time. We're getting right into, uh, well, maybe I'll waste a little bit of it. <laughs> we are busy this week, so if this is not the beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece you're used to, I, it's just because I maybe didn't have enough time. The kids are at vacation Bible study every day this week. So that means I'm getting up early in the morning and I'm I'm volunteering there. So I'm there all the way till noon, which afterwards I bolt out of there so I can make it to the kids swimming lessons afterwards. So it's just been a very, very busy week. Not much time for a whole lot else, especially when we got to take care of all the animals and, you know, all the usual responsibilities that happen when our whole entire morning and afternoon aren't taken up. So let's not waste any time because I've got two clutches I'm going to show you today. It's clutch 2206 and clutch 2207, and we're going to try our black light technique today on our ball pythons that are the leucistic species, the leucistic species, oh my god, leucistic animals, because, uh, well, this is the dad of the first clutch, and this is Mr. Pink. He is the very first ball python that we ever hashed out here at Triple B TV, so that one is super fun. Super stoked for him to have produced his first clutch here. He's beautiful, an Enchi Lesser, possible het sunset. Also cool that mom is this Mojave Cypress that was actually a gift from our buddy Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons, um, however many years back, and of course she is in full-blown shed and the exciting thing about this is of course we get to use the black light because one of the babies is a lesser mojave which is an all-white blue-eyed leucistic snake and i've always wanted to check out this black light on the ball python thing to see if we can see some pattern because i've always heard so much about it and i've never got to do it myself so i'm excited let's go <laughs> they were ball pythons All right, the cool thing about these two snakes is well they're both normal males and i don't know if that's necessarily the cool thing about them but the cool thing about the fact that they're both normal males is this clutch has a nice progression of more and more genes working their way into the snakes as we move forward from snakes one and two here to snakes three four five and six so these are both uh normal possible het sunset males and i'm thinking that number two here is most likely going to prove out het sunset based on his head stamp and a couple other things but of course that's only going to be proven 100 percent by breeding so no guarantees there. Oh my gosh, this guy is energetic. I've put him down for two seconds, he's trying to take off on me. Come on, light, come over here. All right, so they switch hands. Here's, here's male number one in this hand, and here's male number two in this hand. And give you a little look at the belly action. This guy's going back into full ball python form. This guy's a little bit darker than the rest. It's pretty cool looking, a little normal action going on here. But I'm going to compare these with the next snake, which is a cypress, so you can kind of see the difference between normal and cypress, because the untrained eye, it's really hard to tell. So this guy here is the cypress, and oh my goodness, I'm going to have to put this other snake away. Yeah, snake number two there is a feisty son of a gun. So you can kind of see the difference just in the color between these two. The normal is a bit darker in the tan parts of his body, the, the goldish parts of his body are not nearly as bright as the golden parts on the cypress. You can see on the sides here, this guy's alien heads are there and being very alien head-ish. It's like, those are true alien heads. You can just see them looking at you, like coming from outer space. Whereas the alien heads on the cypress are not looking as alien head-ish. They are alien head-like, but they're kind of going a little bit more straight up and down tower action. I've heard Billy refer to these towers, and that's kind of how I see them now, too. Now that he said that, you can see on this side, too. Just kind of a little bit more straight up and down, and just a, a different looking alien head on the side. Not, again, not as alien head-ish. See if I can stack these guys. The problem with trying to show living art is that it's alive. <laughs> And that means it's constantly in motion. There, there's a nice top, bottom, side-by-side -side shot. So the normal guy is on top and the cypress is on bottom. Uh, and now they're kind of twisting around and making me look like a liar. Anyway, there they are. Both beautiful examples of ball pythons uh, with my cypress over here and the normal over here. Capiche, capouche. Now it would have been really cool to get just a straight Mojave next so we can show you the difference between Mojave and Enchi Mojave or even to get a lesser and a Mojave. We didn't, however, so the next two snakes we did get are both females. This one here in my hand is an Enchi Mojave and you can tell 
the Mojave look, <laughs> if you know what a Mojave looks like, they got a bit more of these singular keyholes that pop up inside of the alien head, making it a keyhole instead of an alien head, you could say. And uh, the Enshi, it creates this much more light tan color in between the alien heads and the dorsal areas, a lot, lot more light tan. And then also uh, the banding going across the top, these alien heads connecting across the top, all down the second half of the body here. Uh, all that crossover action, letting me know that it is indeed an Enchi, an Enchi Mojave there. And then right over here, we've got what I believe to be the Enchi Mojave Cypress. So almost as many genes as we could get from the pairing without adding the lesser to turn it into a leucistic animal. There they are side by side, the Enchi Mojave here and the Enchi Mojave Cypress over here. Looking absolutely fantastic. I'm super stoked as a female. I'm also super stoked that these are all possible het sunset. That's that's fun. All right, this last snake is our blue-eyed leucistic animal, so we're gonna get these lights out. Looks like we got a black light going in here, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, hello everybody. <laughs> here we go. Look at that snake glowing, glowing in that black light. Absolutely incredible, incredible glowing action. Minus the one factor, which is I'm not seeing any pattern whatsoever. So this snake is a lesser Mojave, possible het sunset, and also-ble, also, -ble, also, -ble? <laughs> also possible het, not possible, goodness gracious, let's start at the top. This snake is a lesser Mojave, possible het sunset, possible enchi, possible cypress. Now the one issue that I'm having here right now is I see that the snake is glowing and purple and wonderfully nice like that and, and definitely glowing just like my shirt, but I'm not seeing a lick of pattern on this snake, not in the least. So that tells me one of two things. A, my black light sucks, or B, I, this snake has no pattern to tell the story. Do I need a better black light? I don't know. I just got the only black light they had at the hardware store, and maybe that is not good enough. Kind of a bummer. I was kind of hoping to see some pattern on this snake here with this black light, but I see... I see nothing. No! I want to see some pattern! Alright, I put the snake really close to the black light, and it didn't help. I... I don't know. That's a bummer. Because I was really excited to show black light pattern on there and I'm, I'm think I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me and I'm just seeing this like ooh look there it is but I just might be like wishfully glancing or gazing so <sighs> let's move on to the next clutch all right before we move officially on to the next clutch I just want to give you guys an update on the oh my goodness I want to give you guys an update on that maternal clutch that we had that we showed this Wednesday uh, she's got three of the babies hatched out one of the last three eggs is pipped and two more eggs still yet to pip. So the interesting thing is those eggs were sitting a little further off the hot spot, but the third egg that was also off the hot spot did pip a little bit. So we should have a, a full healthy clutch coming out of that thing pretty quick. So I'm pretty excited about that. And it was a fun little experiment, it worked out. We might, we'll probably do more of that going forward. We got two more veterans here for snakes producing at Triple B. And that's uh, Mr. Bowwinkle. He is a super pastel lesser and probably one of the most beautiful snakes here shall be. He's just gorgeous. He's just aged phenomenally and look at those yellows coming up the side. Just fantastic. Super pastel lesser. This blue-eyed leucistic animal, which it is a blue-eyed leucistic animal, is Violet right there. She's a purple passion, which is a lesser, I'm sorry, a Mojave phantom. And so we did get three different blue-eyed leucistic animals out of this pairing, and they are all pastel, thanks to Mr. Bullwinkle the Super Pastel. So these are all boys, and they're all snake one, two, and three. So 2207-001M, -002M, and -003M. And I was certain about number two being a phantom, based on the amount of black that goes all the way down the sides and the lack of so much blushing going on. Of course, they're all pastel. Uh, this one I'm certain is a pastel Mojave based on just the way that Mojave pattern looks and the extreme blushing coming up inside on the sides and a lot of the uh, circular looking alien heads or, or just just a little bit more keyhole action. This one just screams Mojave to me. Uh, the, the way the head is blushed out a bit more. 
This one, number three, is kind of a bit of a, a conundrum for me because there is some nice black surrounding the alien head pattern, like some really nice thick black, but there's also a decent amount of blushing. And so I'm gonna wait for some more meals on this one before I decide 100% whether or not it is a pastel Mojave or a pastel Phantom. I'm just gonna take some, again, take some time, let it play out and uh, not list him until I'm, I'm certain, you know, a few more sheds, it'll, it'll become a little bit more clear to me. Uh, but this guy, number two, definitely a pastel Phantom. So these last three snakes for Clutch 2207 are all pastel blue-eyed leucistic animals, and they are either lesser Mojaves or lesser Phantoms. The only way to be able to tell for sure if it's Phantom or Mojave is gonna be to breed these. So we got two, fe two females in my right hand over here, and then we've got the one male over here in my other hand. The cool thing about these is you can definitely see the pastel coming through. I, I put these under black light too. No pattern, no pattern to speak of, so. Uh, again, I, I don't know if that's just a failure of the black light and it's not being powerful enough uh, or what, but definitely not seeing any uh, pattern. I would love to compare this Lesser Mojave and see if you guys can tell on camera. This is the Lesser Mojave from Clutch 2206, the last clutch we showed. Maybe it's not as obvious now at this young age, but once these snakes get older, the yellow is going to show more and more in the pastel versions, from my understanding, so that should be pretty cool. But there they are, a couple of cool clutches. Uh, a lot of these guys will be listed on Morph Market before too long, so I know Morph Market's been looking a little sparse for Triple B recently. That's just because we can't keep snakes. There are a couple up there. Um, maybe I'll lower the price on those. Tell you what, if you're watching this video right now, I will give you 20% off anything that's on Morph Market right now. 20%! That's how much I love you guys for watching and supporting these videos and watching them all the way through to the end. And for hitting the like button and for commenting down below to help us with the algorithm to get these videos out to more people. Really appreciate you guys doing that. We're going to be doing some feeding this coming up, uh, Cusco Uncut coming here. And before we get out of here, I wanted to share the verse that I shared with the kids at VBS this morning because if you guys are tired, if you guys are feeling it like and you're just going through it like we have all week just long and long days and hot and just plowing ahead with all the kiddos and stuff this is a this is a verse that i find is very helpful for those that are feeling tired worn out and like they just are at their wits end it's a good one isaiah 40 29 to 31 he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak even the youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And with that, I bid you adieu. Thank you for watching the video again. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha. And that last girl was covered in cocoa debris. Shapa, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, 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 Shaka